Hi everyone. Today I want to do an unexpected part two to my last post called Agreement, the foundation of successful partnership. I've received some unexpected posts about my blog and some people's um, experience of how true that has been for them, that in the relationships they've been in that have not been successful, there has not been really solid and explicit agreements to support that relationship. I know for myself, I've certainly had an argument or two in some of my relationships, business and personal. I'm sure you can relate. And I think the hardest part about relationships is that when we come back to the table to perhaps debrief a situation, maybe it's time that it's cooled off and we need to talk about it, or it's necessary to, as I mentioned in my last blog, to actually renegotiate some of the things that have gone on and make sure that they stay very clear and explicit so that they continue to happen in a way that works for everyone. Well, having had a very heated argument or being in a place where I feel I am really right and the other person is very, very wrong, it's very difficult to come to the table and be in a place of negotiation when I have all of these thoughts and stories in my head. I want to offer to you the Jahari window. It is a tool that is used in coaching as a way to help to draw people out of what they believe is true about someone or something or themselves and actually take them into this childlike sort of curiosity of the unknown. So what if this person sitting across from me that I have made up is the spawn of Satan? They are absolutely the worst person ever created. I can't even believe that I'm in relationship with them somehow. Was not that person. What if they too had feelings? What if they too were truly just trying their best even though it didn't feel that way on my end? Coming to new agreements and negotiating new ways means that I need to be willing to let go of my stories of that other person. Let go of all of the data I, I have that says, oh, I'm right and you're not, and really start from scratch. I need to believe that they too want to be happy, that they too are simply, you know, doing their very best. So we need to start from a place of pretending I don't know them. I don't know them at all. And what if I were just meeting them for the first time with fresh eyes? What would an agreement with them be like? This means moving away from the hurt and the resentment the anger, the pain, the disappointed dreams of how it could have been and it wasn't. We need to be able to process and let go of some of that, sometimes with the other person present, sometimes not, before we can move to a place where we renegotiate and can let go of some of those stories. This is a really powerful thing that you can do for all of your relationships, and I guarantee your return on investment will be far higher than what you can imagine. This may seem insurmountable, and I can tell you it's not. You can do this, and your relationships and you are worth it.